the lift. Okay, but these are mini steps, not very... So, very nice. Yeah. Good morning guys, it's day 2 of our Ipoh trip and here we are at the Kek Lok Tong Temple, Cave Temple. So this is one of um, Ipoh's iconic jewels. So it's also one of the must-sees when you're over here in Ipoh. So basically, we will go inside there. There's like a, oh, there's a, there's a cave in there and there's a temple in there. And also it leads to a very zen garden. So we're going to take a look. First time here, so my mom is actually like checking out how to walk because she's worried that the terrain is tough but the guys actually say that it's not that tough so i'll let you guys know how is the path in there so for people who are like not so mobile or elderly or kids i'll show you guys whether it's like walkable for all but it looks like a fun morning ahead and luckily it's not too sunny now so it's gonna be nice and cooling inside but this morning when I first came here, I was wearing my Gentle Monster shades. <laughs> my brand new Gentle Monster Star shades. And I actually dropped it and it's a bit scratched. <laughs> so sad. Anyway, we are going to head in soon. Just waiting for Chibing to come back from his photo taking. So, I'll see you guys inside. Guess my mom is worried about the steps. But apparently there's a lift inside. So, we can also walk in by the lift. Okay, but these are mini steps, not very high steps. So it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. The cave has been in existence for 100 over years. And you can see the beautiful architecture over here. And the beautiful cave. Stalactite and stalagmite. Yeah, stalactite and stalagmites. We are in a lift because my mom doesn't want to walk up the stairs so there's actually a lift for people that have difficulty walking <laughs> so it's like an old school lift and look who's out there waiting Raya is <laughs> <He's> there <laughs> This is actually a pretty small cave temple so when you walk through it only takes you like 5 minutes now we are headed outdoors to the Zen Garden area. The Zen Garden area is the larger area, which is really beautiful like behind. And it's like, it feels like you're surrounded by all these limestone caves. So it's like very nice. So natural, all these are natural, it's not man-made. So it's like even more beautiful. Yep. Ah, such a serene place. And the good thing is, it's not too sunny as of now. So very nice. There are quite a lot of decorations over here. For example, here you can see the different types of Buddha, like deer sitting happy. Then there's also raised elms bowl. Okay, personally I'm not Buddhist, so I mean all these are just what I'm reading from the I'm reading from this. Yeah. So so many <laughs> Buddhist teachings. Yep. So a nice place to walk and like I said luckily it's pretty cooling this morning and it's very shaded because of all these <laughs> the cave walls so really serene a place that's why it's called Zen Garden there is a pedal boat and also bicycles that you can actually rent so it's like 30 minutes for a 4 person boat, 20 ringgit So we're gonna try it It's pretty interesting, like you get to paddle around the river Decked out in our live jackets And we're headed to the ducky boat So the funny thing is, there's only paddle for 2 persons in a 4 persons boat So making the 2 guys Paddle. Like me and my mom don't even need to paddle, we are just like seated here. <laughs> and maybe I also can paddle later, like you can switch it around, then I can paddle. How is it? Fun? <laughs> so it's quite a nice comfy ride because um, it's shaded, so you don't feel the sun. This is how we look like in the boat. 
So it's a four person boat. Be careful, the whole thing drops. <laughs> so this is a pretty good way to enjoy the scenery over here because you're paddling in the water. Looks like quite a popular activity for like families uh, with kids and stuff. So consider doing this paddle boat when you're at the Kek Lok Tong Cave Temple as well. There's a second floor of the cave where you can just see lots of beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. There's like real, real stone. So you can see that it's like, yeah, there's slimy stuff on it. So that's why it's dripping a lot of water. Okay, you don't really want the water to drip on you. So at least it's pretty nice and cooling in here. So really loads of dripping water. So you need to be careful when you're walking because some of the ground is like quite slippery. Oh no, it just dropped on me. <laughs> Nearby Kek Lok Tong is this place called Mirror Lake. So we are here at Mirror Lake to check out the sites over here. And the first thing you saw, right? Instagrammable looking rainbow staircase up there. Need to go up. So there's quite a lot of activities here. There's a boat ride. You can actually see. I assume there's a mirror lake, so it's like you can see your reflection. And there's also ponies and stuff. So you can spend like maybe one, two hours over here to check out the sites. First things first, rainbow staircase. I'm gonna head up the rocky sky ladder. So very nice. Woo! We bought tickets to enter the Mirror Lake area. So it's um, bring it $10 per adult for each non-Malaysian. Uh, non it's cheaper for Malaysians. We are now walking towards Mirror Lake. So when you enter, you get a mini little cave here. So, eee, got water drip on me. <laughs> okay, so all these natural caves, basically there's a lot of like water dropping from the ceiling. So you may get hit with some water but it's okay, it's fun so this is the miners cave you can see that they have all the replicas of the mining equipment and stuff various activities that you can do here such as the boat ride but the boat ride is about ringgit 25 per adult so we didn't buy tickets for it so just gonna walk around so Ipoh is really pretty scenic so lots of caves around here so you get to see a lot of the beautiful limestone creations. <laughs> There's a boat. One of the key things here is also famous for its tea. So there's a Kinlung Valley here where you can see stuff about tea. So we're just gonna head in to check it out. So there's a lot of activities that you can do over at this area. So if you head here, you can spend like a couple of hours to entertain yourselves. Found a little marketplace over in the Kinlong Valley area. Maybe because it's weekend, so there's a marketplace. So, nice place to come over and chill, walk, see what's around. So you can, there's also cafes all around, so you can also come here and have a meal while you're still in between walking around this area. Lunch time and we are sitting down in some air called Kasu Pao. Kasu Pao, thank you. So now we are at this place called Ming Kot for Tim Sum. Tim Sum. Why don't you take one? You want? You want? Yeah. Then you take. You take two. You take one. So basically we are at Ming Kot, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Anyway, um, this is a recommended place for Tim Sum over here in Ipoh. Tim Sum is one of the maskies, so there are many restaurants selling Tim Sum as well. But this is like one of the more popular ones and you can see from the crowd. So they're open until 2pm daily and now it's about 12.30pm. So luckily we didn't have to queue for a seat. Managed to get a seat quite fast. Just that basically it was actually, uh, some of the stuff are so out. So like porridge, uh, so very heavy, you know, my guy. But there's still enough stuff that we can eat, so let's see how is the Tim Sum. Here. Oh, that's this yam thingy. So don't try, it's like deep fried. So they have a good mix of like deep fried and also uh, steam items. So we ordered more of the steam one. Lah. 
Here's on a few deep fried them. It's pretty nice. The yam is quite thick. Savory. I think it's savory. It's more savory. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. So we ordered the char siu pao and Ryan's having the long mai kai. Mm. Nice. Good. Okay, Ryan, you can eat the, try the char siu pao as well. So my mom says the char siu pao is good. Long mai kai. The long mai kai is very tasty and there's a lot of liao. There's like Chinese sausage, fish ball, mushroom. Yeah, so this is one of the popular items here as well. And Ryan finished the whole thing, so now we've got another one. Uh, this one should be a mushroom, like a mushroom siu mai. So. The dumplings are here actually very small, so it's like smaller than the usual siu mai. It's like maybe two thirds the size of a normal siu mai. But it's really nice, the skin is very soft and the meat is uh, very juicy. Both very well. So even the bean cut skin, right? It's like smaller than the usual Singapore size, so cute. So which means that maybe we need to order more. <laughs> but it's nice. Well, huh? mm. oh, the weather is seriously a killer. I'm like, oh, dying. Anyway, now we are at the old town area of Ipo. So we are gonna head to the Time Tunnel Museum and probably the Fantasy. So later we will grab back. <laughs> It's really too hot, but maybe we'll try to find a cafe to see if we can get some white coffee or some drink because it's really very hot and thirsty. I'm literally like raining and sweating. <laughs> the weather is really no joke. It's as hot or even hotter than Singapore. So, Woo. Is it hot, Ryan? Very, very, very hot. Uh. See, uh, it's like kept up the hair, pin up the hair, but it's still sweating all over. It's like, the weather is really the tropical heat wave until cannot heat wave anymore. Lots of cafes around the old town area. So we're gonna see if we can get any cold drink. I'm eyeing that old town kitchen cafe over there. Really, really need a drink. You can see how warm and humid we are now. Drinks are here, yay! Okay, Ryan, you can try your ice Milo. Good? Oh, very good. Oh, can pick water. Mm. Oh, it's refreshing. Killer weather calls for cold drink. Mm, the tapping is very nice. It's like ice tea tarik. So it's like super sweet, but it's very nice and very cold. Nice and cold. Mm. When you're in Ipo Old Town, there's a free museum called the Ipo Time Tunnel. So in this museum, you can find all the old school things and the history of Ipo. La. So like old school stuff like this rickshaw. And it's pretty informative, so you can head down over here to check it out. Get some shit from the Killing Sun as well. Oh yeah, okay, so the first floor is free, but if you want to go up the Time Tunnel Gallery, it's ringing $8 for adults, so we'll head up there later. Up this flight of stairs, so once you buy the tickets, you can go up. Yeah. To me, okay, is like pretending to be a noodle seller. <laughs> so, really, all the old school stuff. Oh, this is like the old school butter cookie, no? Oh, okay. Really historical. <laughs> Just a note, this um, museum is open air, no icon, so thought we could enjoy a bit of icon, but nope. Just see all the stuff in historical old school non icon. Just check it out, there's mahjong. Okay, actually, I don't know how to play mahjong. Dry singing. Are you sure you know how to play? Ooh, loads of games for. Xiang Qi. <laughs> Make sure there's walk here. The famed Kongkumbai Lane. Check out how crowded it is. So here at this lane is famous for all the stalls selling all the people wears. So like a street stall area. But it's so crowded. 
So basically, there's a lot of stalls selling all the local confectionery over in Ipoh. So this is the area that you need to walk past definitely when you are in Ipoh. Loads of things to see and buy. So it'll be like Pasar Malam. <laughs> just amazed with the crowd because it's probably long weekend so everybody is out and about no. Loads of stalls selling lots of food and snacks. So it's basically like a huge pasar malam over here. I was very very tempted by the ice ball, but I think need to wait. And it's very crowded, so very tempted though. Last year I was in Penang, I also wanted to get an ice ball. So maybe I really should get an ice ball. Hmm. Let me think about it. We are here at Miro Arts Lane in Ipoh. So we decided to leave my mom and Ryan back in the hotel and we are here to check out all the beautiful murals. Okay, I really like the one with the rabbit dim sum. So the sun has gone down a bit so make it a bit more pleasant to walk around and check out the murals. So there's really quite a lot of murals over here like it's pretty famous so we're gonna take a look. I love Ipoh. Yeah, I really love Ipoh because things here are so nice and cheap. <laughs> So if you look around here, basically like the whole stretch, right? You can see lots of murals. So let me show you guys some of the nicer ones that I feel. Yep. <laughs> The other place where you can actually find a lot of murals is in Penang. So Penang is also famous for their murals, which is like actually street art. So there's also a lot over here in Ipoh. Now just good time to take a stroll down Mural Arts Lane at 4 p.m. when the sun has become kinder. <laughs> I think so far, I think my favorite one is still that rabbit bunny dim sum one because it's like super cute. So let's see if there are any others. Basically, it's like the back alley of like the buildings. So pretty nice. It's like a lot of the buildings in Ipoh town are really very old school. Like, you know, it's very, un not really very developed. But the mirrors are really very pretty, so yeah. Oh, some are really pretty nice. I'm impressed. <laughs> this one is cute, it's like a party bear. <laughs> so having a lot of fun checking out some of the beautiful murals over here. Something that you really need to check out when you're in Ipoh. decided to try the chicken rice from Lo Wong and we ordered chicken to share and also the rice looks pretty good tofu and they are famous for their bean sprouts and also the chicken so basically Lo Wong chicken doesn't actually um, debone the chicken so Ryan have to learn how to eat but anyway give him all the breast meat so it looks pretty good. Cucumber, you think cucumber? Right? Ooh, okay, actually I want to try the rice. Let's see how much the rice tastes. How the rice tastes. Very good. The rice is authentic chicken rice. Okay, I think enough for you. You take it first. So we're gonna try the chicken. I so find one piece with no bone. Okay, but I don't like chicken skin. So yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Hmm, pretty good. The chicken gravy is nice. A bit like the soya sauce. Hmm, very good. So if you are in Ipoh, you must come to this place, which is at the Ipoh New Town, Low Wang. And there's also an Ipoh Taki over here, so you can have the Yue Kuang Hei. Ipoh Water. Oh, Low Wang. Low Wang lah, Low Wang. Low Wang. <laughs> and when you're here, you can also buy a lot of biscuits, because over there, over there, there's a lot of biscuit shops. So shop. Till you drop 